Okay, so what I'm going to show you here is how you can actually change the volumes and something called panning for your music. Now, this will sound awful because I've just brought in four random songs and my singing vocals. But what I'm, my aim is, is to make sure that up here, my audio does not clip. If I clip, I'm getting low, low marks and my vocals would just sound horrible. Just the entire music will sound horrible. So I'm just going to play this and what you'll see is this will clip. It sounds horrible. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come through and bring everything down. And bring everything down. And this one as well. So I'm just going over to this left hand side of the tracks and you've got this plus or minus, this is your volume. So if I play it again, it should be a little bit better. Okay, so it still sounds horrible because it's all a mix of music, but you can see now it's not clipping, it's not distorting. Now what you can do is if you want to work on a track independently, you can use solo. So I'm going to work on this song, and I've clicked solo, and it's muted everything else. I just came from, I thought it was over. Oh, that's just great. Okay, so what I could do is I can use the panning tool to move this song into the left ear. So this will only come out of your left headphone now. I just came from, I thought it was over. Okay, so that's now in your left ear. I could undo the solo do the solo on this section, and I can move this one into your right ear. So that's now coming into your right ear. If I hold shift, I can actually solo both of these together. So solo and solo, and now I can play this one in your left ear and this one in your right ear. Okay, so I wouldn't recommend soloing it or paddling it just to the right or just to the left. Kind of giving it a little bit, because otherwise it sounds a little bit weird. So now it's mainly in your left ear. It kind of plays in your right. This one's mainly in your right ear. It kind of plays in your left. Okay, so the idea is to play around with these controls. So number one, it sounds good. And number two, you've not got any distortion or any clipping. Once you have got it down to a level where you've got no clipping, you can slowly bring things back up to try and prevent the clipping overall. So it still sounds horrible, but there is no clipping. <laughs> 